Each smartphone has multiple internal sensors that will detect how the phone is used in its environment. This internal measuring unit, or IMU, is an electronic device that measures and reports a body-specific force, angular rate, and orientation using a combination of accelerometers, gyroscopes, and sometimes magnetometers. To start this project, I need remote access to the IMU of the smartphone. For this, I use an app called Sensor Streamer on the Android platform. It's a relatively basic app that creates a TCP server client connection. This will transmit the relevant sensor data from my phone to a client device within the local network. The app allows you to select which sensor data you want to transmit and at which rate. I was only interested in the rotation vector of my smartphone, so I only selected that box. This vector estimates the orientation of the smartphone based on the accelerometer, magnetometer and gyroscope. Basically, this tells you at which angle the phone is being held in relation to a reference frame. To set up this connection, I start a TCP server on my smartphone with a self-chosen port number. A Python script on my computer will act as a TCP client and will receive the sensor data. The data packets are then sent in a JSON string over the TCP server client connection. When starting the Python script, a connection is made with a sensor stream application on my phone. As you can see in the terminal, the real-time device angles are received and processed. I'm not going to go into detail what the script exactly does, but the main function of the script is to communicate with the TCP server on my phone. Then extract the rotation vector from the received JSON string, then process the rotation vector from quaternions into Euler angles, and finally it will write the Euler angles into a TXT file. I will later explain why I store the device angles in a TXT file. A more detailed explanation can be found in the script itself via the link below. For the digital model, I use Blender. Blender will mimic the orientation of my phone in a virtual environment. I found it to be the best way to accurately visualize a 3D phone with quickly changing perspectives due to the changing orientation of the phone. I also experimented with OpenGL and Pygame, but the visualization was not that great compared to the results I had with Blender. First, I downloaded a smartphone from the online Blender library. I picked an iPhone 13 from André Oliveira. And I, the first adaptation that I did was adding some colors to the surfaces. This to make it easier to understand the orientation of the phone uh, when rotating the object. Second thing that I did was make sure that the axes of the object are identical to the axis of the sensor in my phone. For this I looked at the Android developer docs and here it states that the y-axis is along the length of the phone, the x along the width and the z perpendicular to the screen. As you can see in the Blender file here, uh, this is identical to the sensor axis. Uh, here, rotation around the y-axis, rotation around the x-axis, and rotation around the z-axis. This is important for the next step. It will make the sensor mapping between real-world phone and virtual model easier. Next, I exported the 3D model to an object file, which I will then later import in the UPBGE software, which is basically the old Blender game engine. Here I have the previously created object file imported in UPBGE. This is a forked version of Blender, which allows you to add logic bricks to the object. On the phone object, I added an always-on sensor, which will pulse a true value at each generated frame. This pulse is connected to a controller, which will run the move phone script at every new frame. In the move phone script, I open the phoneangles.txt file and read the last line. I parse the last line of the text file and extract the XYZ angles in the float format. Then it's just a matter of executing the command to adapt the orientation of the object. The move phone script will run and thus adapt the orientation of the object at each generated frame. 
I tried running the script that gathers the data from the phone directly in this version of Blender, but for some reason it kept crashing and then I came up with the solution of using a text file as a data socket. So when I now have both scripts running simultaneously, the orientation of the phone will be mimicked in real time in Blender.